Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you a banana bread recipe. So the first thing that I'm doing here is I buttered this pan and then I just sort of dusted it with flour and then I'm just patting the excess off into my bowl. Now I'm adding all of my dry ingredients to a separate bowl and then I'm gonna mix those together and set those aside. In another bowl, I'm going to mash about three ripe bananas. And these are about medium-sized bananas. They don't have to be too large. You do want this to add up to about a cup of mashed banana once you are done. In the mixer, I have about a stick of butter softened at room temperature. I'm adding one cup of sugar. I'm going to beat these together on about medium, medium speed until these are well combined and slightly fluffy. Just a few minutes. You do want to stop your mixer and scrape down the sides of the bowl uh, periodically just to make sure that everything is getting incorporated evenly. Next, I have two large eggs and I'm going to add them in one at a time. You wanna make sure that the first egg is fully incorporated before you add in your second one. You will notice that as this mixture is uh, being beaten on medium speed, that it will become a lot more 
pale than when you first started mixing it. And there's going to be more air that's, good, that's incorporated into your mixture. Once your mixture looks like this, you're ready to go ahead and add in all of your dry ingredients that you mixed in the bowl at the beginning of this process. Once that is well combined, then you're going to add in your mashed banana. Once those are fully incorporated, you're gonna add in a half a cup of buttermilk. I'm actually using uh, grass-fed kefir. You wanna add in one teaspoon of vanilla and just mix until everything is incorporated. You do not want to over mix this and have tough banana bread. All right, once everything's all combined, you want to pour your batter into your five by nine bread pan. Make sure the top is nice and smooth. And if you can, try to make sure that there's no gaps in the corners. You're gonna bake this at 350 for about 65 minutes. You do want to insert a toothpick into the middle of your bread to check for doneness. If your toothpick comes out mostly clean, your bread is ready. But this was an absolutely delicious sort of afternoon snack once we were done with homeschool. My whole family enjoyed this recipe. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any comments or questions, please put them in the box below and I will talk to you guys in my next video.